Rockefeller Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS for showing me this great truth. Shalom and salutations to all the brothers pumping up this truth with sincerity, long suffering, longevity, and 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 with a fire that burns your freaking colon. Okay. The subject I'm gonna get on today is women. Why? Because I'm just tired of the bullshit, honestly. And I've been getting, I've been dealing with my own dumbass ex-wife and this stupid fucking bitch in California. Both of them motherfuckers want to tell me I can't tell my children the truth. Fuck you bitches, man. Now, now I'm not for, I'm not against all women. But damn it, there ain't, there ain't, there ain't too many good women out here. Because a woman don't even know what the fuck to be good is. She don't even know her place. She's always trying to be the fucking head, and she's supposed to be a fucking tail. How do we know that? In Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, verses 21. Actually, actually, yeah, verses 20. Through, uh, verses 20 through 28. And the Most High said, Let the waters bring forth abund abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth, in the open firmament of heaven. And the Most High created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after his kind. And the Most High saw that it was good. And the Most High blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth, and the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And the Most High said, Let the earth bring forth li the living creature after his kind, cattle and creepy thing and beast of the earth after his kind and it was so and the most high made the beast of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and every living thing that creepeth upon the earth after their kind and the most high saw that it was good and the most high said let us make man in our image and after the likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth so the most High created man in his own image, in the image of the Most High created he him, male and female created he them, and the Most High blessed them, and said, and the Most High said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Now, we know that he's also talking about us as human beings because he talks about the waters. The water, and the Most High in verse 20, and the Most High said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. Now, when a man goes into a woman, he's what? He shoots his, his semen, his water into her. After nine and a half to ten months, that child gets brummed by being what? She has to break the waters, or she has to break the waters. The child, oh, my water is broken, the child is ready to be born, right? He's giving it to you right here. It's the same thing. It is a metaphor. If you catch it, then you will understand it. That means you're one of his people. If you don't catch it and you don't understand it, because you're a fucking fool and he's blinded you and made you deaf. Because he ain't dealing with you right now. Okay, um... Go to chapter... Genesis chapter 2, verses... 21 through 25. And Yahweh the Most High caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which Yahweh the Most High had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. And they shall be one flesh. Now, how are they going to be one flesh? Because he has sex with her, that's why. He put his rod into her twat. To be brunt. Okay? He had sex with her. And when he had sex with her, she became his possession. His wife. And if you think it's not his possession... <laughs> Let's go to Sirach chapter 36 verses, I think it's 
think it's in verse 22, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's in 36. No, it's in verse 24. He that getteth a wife begetteth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. So women are what? They're spoils of war. You're a possession. You're not a head. You're a fucking tail. And the reason why America is in shambles is because America want to make women the fucking head. And that's why you don't have no good men, because the men don't have no other position but to do what? To be a fucking tail. He's not built to be a tail. He's built to be the head. He's built to lead. You're not built to lead. You're built to follow. That's why you guys are all out of order. Everybody who lets a woman rule over you, you're out of order. If you're a man and you're not ruling your household, get out of that household. You need to be in com complete rulership over your household. Forgive the phone. But you need to be com complete rulership over your household. And don't rule it over your household just because you're a man. You have to be a man of the most high. And you can't just be a man in a fucking church. Or, or Islam. Fuck Islam. Fuck the church. And fuck anybody who wants to continuously say that fucking name, Jesus Christ. That's not his name. There is no J in Hebrew, you stupid fucks. Now back on women. Genesis chapter 3, verses 2 through 21. Actually, let's just get right into it with Genesis chapter 3, verses 4. Now let's go with chapter and verses 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High has said, Ye shall not eat of it, ne neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the Most High doeth know that in that day ye eat thereof, that your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Meaning what? Meaning the Most High and Adam both told this stupid fucking bitch Eve, not to eat from the tree. And what she do? She wants to be the head instead of being the tail. So a woman's, uh, our downfall, a man's downfall is what? A woman. And if you don't have complete control over your woman, leave that bitch. Because she ain't a woman, she's a bitch. And I'll tell you what a woman is. A woman is in uh, um, Proverbs chapter 31. That is a woman. For all those women who think that they're real women, you're not a real woman if you're not doing this. You're a fucking whore. You're a bitch. You're a female dog. And the Lord is not dealing with you. Okay. Proverbs chapter 31 verses 10 through 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Which means, if I have a good woman, I'm not even going to think about getting another woman. Why? Because you're a good woman. You do exactly what needs to be done. I don't always have to tell you. Why? Because you're following this to a T like I am. Which makes it easier on me. She would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Now, you know that's not half of you fucking women. Because half of you motherfucker, as soon as... As soon as the man's not with you no more, you don't want to quickly go to fucking child support. Instead of letting that man try to take care of his children through you. I'll go over there and just drop you off some money. So, or I'll go and get the things that the kids need. We don't need to go to the courts. But no, no, y'all bitches want to go to the courts because y'all thinking about more money. Y'all not thinking about your children. You're greedy. You're greedy bitches. That's what the fuck is wrong with you. Um, verse 13, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She, bring, she bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. Meaning she don't go out and be walking the damn streets. The only time she goes out is to do business. She don't go out to, to, 
to see who she could devour like these fucking hoes out here. She lays her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow of her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates where he sitteth among the elders in the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in the time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children will rise up and call her blessed. Now, do your children rise up and call you blessed, or do your children rise up and curse you bitches out, as they supposed to, because your children is your oppressor, as it is written. And women rule over who? The man, as it is written, because it's a new thing of the earth that Yahweh plot. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellence, excellent them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, which is Yahweh, shall be, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Meaning, she does everything that Yahweh wants her to do. And she does everything that her husband wants her to do. She don't dishonor Yahweh because she don't dishonor her husband. Now, if you're a woman and you're dishonoring your if you're not letting your husband rule over you, you're dishonoring the head of you. No matter what Esau says and these fucking Edomites say, fuck America. America's going to be flatland. You need to get your shit right. And that's why I'm going to leave it off right now. Shalom.